Okay, uh, one of the things I'd like to do is show you guys how you can uh, actually go into a WordPress install and add your own sort of folder. Now, um, I've logged on to uh, my WordPress site. I'm on FTP, and on the left is, is the my computer, and on the right is the server. Let me show you what the page looks like. Okay, so here's my WordPress site. You'll notice I have a subdomain, teacherp3.chsweb.org. And um, now I did this as a trick one time. I needed to make an e-commerce site. And my e-commerce site, I had to use a totally different technology called Xcart. But I wanted to integrate it with a WordPress site. So what I did is what I'm about to show you. Um, so I'm going to show you, this would be like, let's say you want to do something that's not WordPress, but uh, something like you want to showcase some work that you've done and it wasn't on WordPress. You can create a new folder in here. So I'm going to create this folder. I'm going to call it gallery. Make it look all fancy. Notice I have a folder here called gallery. Now I'm going to open up this folder and there's nothing in here. Uh, first thing you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure you put an index file in here called index.php or index.html and that will create some security. But before I do that, I'm going to load up an image gallery here um, and upload it onto the site so you can see it. Give me a moment while I find that. Uh, did I say image gallery? I meant uh, I'm going to just put up another page. Um, I did this one page. It's called uh, Bootstrap Bill. It's one of my other videos. I was talking about how, how to do grids on the system um, using Bootstrap to create a responsive grid. You might have seen that. And so here's the folder in here. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to upload this entire folder. So I'm going to right click and upload. And then when it's done, you will see it in here. Now, the thing I wanted to show you is why you need to have an index page. Right now, I've got a folder here and no file called index. Now watch what happens when I go to the website. If I type, put a slash at the end of my URL and type out gallery and a slash and hit enter, what that does, oh, well, first of all, it says it can't find the file. We're going to go ahead and drop an index file right in here. Create a new file, call it index.html. And I'm just going to put on here a little doc type and a little message. Okay, so here I go. I went ahead and created a very simple web page. Um, just wanted to have basically nothing to see here kind of thing. Oh, i got to put my password in apparently. And uh, we should see the file in here now. There we go. Let's see if we can see it now. There. Okay, so until I could put an actual page in their index page, um, my WordPress site basically prevented me from seeing anything. It was the WordPress site here. But the moment I put an index file in here, uh, then we suddenly have it working. So let's do this. And I'm going to put on here bootstrap-bill slash and there is the page that I was working on. Okay, so notice the folder structure. Okay, when you put in when you put in a directory or a folder in the same root folder as your WordPress site, this becomes an extra link. So you notice the first folder was gallery. And that's where I put the index page I just worked on. And in the second folder was the bootstrap bill <laughs> folder. And we can see that folder in there. So what it allows you to do is you can showcase other work that you've done that isn't necessarily a WordPress site. So one more time, there's the folder gallery inside a gallery bootstrap bill you put your files in here and we can see it on the screen so once you have your site like this my bootstrap bill what if we want to add it and link to it from our WordPress site well this becomes very easy first thing you want to do is copy the address 
go back to the WordPress site. That is not the WordPress site I'm looking for. Let's just go over here. Once we're on this site, let's go into the dashboard. There in the dashboard, and let's adjust the menu. So right now, I have a home menu, but it has no menu items on here. So I'm gonna click Add Home to our menu. And there's the home link. And now I'm gonna add what's a custom link, and I'm just gonna paste that here. Uh, and I'll put bootstrap grid sample. Or maybe I'll just say bootstrap grid. I click add to the menu. It adds it to the menu. Let's make sure it's considered the primary menu. Save it. Go to the home page. And we should be able to see, there it is, home, bootstrap grid. I click it, there it is. Good luck.